Hello there, Chad. How's everybody doing? Greetings and salutations. Liza, Ellie, Blackfoot. How is everybody? <clears throat> Blackfoot! Once again, thank you so much for the continued subscription, man. Thank you for the continued support. I truly appreciate it. 38 months. Have I been doing this three years? Man. I've been doing that longer than I have, because I, yeah, because I've been doing Extra Life for, what, five? Oh, man. <laughs> that was four or five? How many times have I done Extra Life? Oh, man. <laughs> Sometimes when it shows how many months y'all have still been supporting me, it, make, it makes me feel old. I'm like, have I really been doing this long? Holy shit. Ugh. Let's see. Uh, Twitch says we're excellent. Streamlabs is running optimally. The chat is scrolling, and the game is running, so I think we're good to go. Ugh. Nope. Uh. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this party started by saying greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and welcome back to another episode, another live stream. Come on, I'm not away from keyboard. Don't you lie to the people out there. Another live stream of uh, my, you know, one of my favorite live streams of Final Fantasy XIV Friday. Because I love Final Fantasy XIV. It's Friday. And there's always something to do every week, you know? The weekly, uh, the weekly shticks. Even the daily shticks. But, <clears throat> so we're back to do that today. And, um, also because there is a what you call them, a, a New Year's event. New Year's event to do. And uh, I wants to do it because it's going to go away in like two days. <laughs> and I haven't done it yet. So we're going to take care of that. So come along. You belong. Feel the fizz of Cuckoo Cola. As we go around and uh, do, do some stuff. Let's see. It's probably in Limsa. It's almost like I think a, the, every New Year's event starts in Limsa. On the aft castle, so. Ugh. It's she here. Everything's good. Everything's good. Yep. So, what's everybody up to? Uh oh. Am I gonna run into a wall of people? No? No, it's not. It was, I was like, man, this thing sure is taking a while to load. Oh, wait, yep, starting to load in people. There's lots of uh, AFKers just hanging around. do <laughs> <laughs> All right, New Year's time because we're heading into the year of the bull, and I guess, I guess that's the closest they have to a bull in fourteen. <laughs> you made a thing. I like I like it when you make things, because you are really good at making the things. Any event so far, or just the New Year's event? Uh, just the New Year's, as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> I know 5.41 just uh, fell, but um, if you haven't been keeping up with the Ishgardian stuff, the Ishgardian re restoration, then it wouldn't make much sense. Oh, let's see what we got here. Aww! Oh my god, that's adorable! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta save that. And show it off. That's so cool. Mm. <laughs> 
Who is, uh... Who is the Durgan on the right? The uh, top right. Not, not, I know the one on the bottom right is you. Oh, where'd it go? Did I lose it? Wait. Hold on. I can find things. Oh, there it is. I didn't scroll down far enough. I found it. <clears throat> Oop. Ah. Boop. There we go. That is so good. That is so adorable. Thank you very much there, Ellen. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Thank you very much there, Eliza. That's so cute. It's so cute. It got a little something in my throat there. <clears throat> my throat's feeling a little off. I'm not coming down with nothing. Time for the year of Dubuil. Excuse me, sir, but are you by any chance an adventurer? Bitch, I haven't been an adventurer in like, like what, five years. I'm the warrior of darkness now. Get it right. <laughs> adventurer. <laughs> you call me, haven't called me that forever. Yes, only one so well-traveled uh, would dress in such peculiar manner. Though I suppose some might argue it is my garb that which make it for a spectacle in these lands. <clears throat> uh, perhaps introductions are in order before I give further offense. I am Ushi Bugyo. Ushi Bugyo. I'm sorry, I, I I know it's probably like offensive, but I'm sorry, his name is Bugyo. <laughs> I am come from the Far East to share that with these good people the, tra the traditions of Heaven's Turn. The Oriorsians built... I'm sorry. Yeah, the Eorzeans built that at New Year's. Believe that. God damn it. The, the, the Eorzeans believe that at year's end, the gods choose one among their number to serve next as a herald of good fortune. Is that right? Is it? Does anyone know Final Fantasy XIV lore? Is that true? Is that, is, is, is that true? Um, in the Far East, it is not a god, but one of the twelve great beasts that is chosen. And this year, it is the mighty Ushi. I believe the locals here know it as the Ox. If you're unfamiliar with the most sacred of animals, you need but look upon the, the resplendent figure adoring my Kabuto. Ah, the Ox. One of my favorite characters from Fruits Basket. I don't know about you, uh, uh, that, the, uh, the, the, um, Haku, I think his name was? The Ox, he is one of my favorite characters in that damn show. <laughs> Indeed, Heaven's Turn is most wondrous celebration. The capstone of our festivities being the pounding of ass. I mean, rice. <laughs> you mean mochi, yes? I've pounded my fair share. Ah, <laughs> oh, man of culture, I see. I have heard of... I've heard you adventurers are a worldly sort, and you are most certainly living up to your reputation. We should make the most of this momentous occasion. We received permission from the Adventurers Guild to have the rice pounded by uh, by a cyclops, but a gozu, which bears a striking resemblance to the divine beast which heralds the coming year. Hey, Shadow Two, what's happening? Everything appeared to be proceeding apace, but the pounding was set to begin ages ago, and not even a morsel of mochi has found its way here. And last I spoke with the mochi daikon, he assured me the pounding was nearly complete. Something has gone amiss. I am certain of it. Yeah, there's a whole lot of pounding going on. Ugh. Good sir, might I prevail upon you to go and visit the pounding site? Duty demands I remain here in to inform as many as possible of the upcoming festivities. A thousand blessings upon you. I eagerly await your return and the delivery of our uh, advent moji. Mochi. <sighs> Boo. Boo. Oh my, it would appear Wakamaru here wishes to accompany you. Though but a young calf, Wakamaru is surprisingly astute. I assure you he will not be a hindrance. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the Mochi Daikon should be in the pounding side in to the southeast of Zephyr Gate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, who's ready to go to the pounding, uh, the pounding site? All right, woo! Time to pound some sites. Oh, <laughs> my chokey bow is still out right now. What's that about? Last, did I go to the break place? No, I didn't. Did I? Yeah, that's Tempest Gate, not Zephyr Gate. Oops. <laughs> right along? It was more riding upon. <laughs> I saw the picture. <laughs> you better watch those claws up there, young lady. <laughs> There's Zephyr Gate. <laughs> All right, where is it? Take the trees. Cheering's care. The mochi that ate Vilbrand. Let's see. Oh. I found you. I think. Or at least I found where you'll be. And I found a Blackfoot. Hey, Blackfoot. I haven't seen Blackfoot in, in game in the forever. How you been, buddy? Ooh, is that the, uh, what's, what's that barding? I know that barding. That is the Shinryu. Oh God, you actually made the Shinryu barding. Jesus. You are a prolific man. <laughs> There you go, for anyone who wants to take a screenshot of the of the of the Blackfoot. I did. Haha. <laughs> did a lot of shimmy glamours for a while. <laughs> what was it? Uh I was about to say something, I can't remember what was it. Like a lot of mochi was good. I never had mochi. <clears throat> Um, you know, one of these days, I, I want to do this. One of these days, I so want to get together, get like, I want to, like, set a date, and I want to, like, talk, you know, put it out on the Patreon, uh, Patreon Discord. <clears throat> I don't know if I get everybody who plays Final Fantasy XIV. Every person in my Patreon, you know, who's a pa one of my patrons in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, and, like, get together on a, on a single day, all of us, and, like, go someplace to go get, uh, like, just take a big old group picture together. I don't know why, I really want to do that. Like, everyone, okay, pick your favorite pose, go, and then I just, you know, then you go into the G pose and, like, fight, you know, get a good angle and uh, stuff like that. You know, get your favorite glamour, do your favorite pose, do, you know, do the G, you know, that, that G pose camera thingy, and just take a really cool picture of every, all the patrons together. Well, not right now we can. I mean, Snow's not here, Tristram's not here, um, Secateur's not here. <clears throat> so, uh, got any beer? <laughs> it's like fishing. You just waiting for it. Waiting for it. Let's see. I was about to say, we're probably waiting for, uh, yeah, we're probably waiting for the, these other two to go away or one of these other ones to go away before it will fit, you know, um, start, you know, start another one. Or if, it, if it's true, he said it just ended, it may actually be uh, a little bit. Oh, and he's going to be over here in crafting. Oh, he's a crafter guy. <laughs> you know, crafting. Like it's easy or something. It's not. <laughs> actually, they made gathering really weird with the, with the uh, revamp of it. Actually, you know, I showed it a little bit last time we played, but I, was, I looked at it and I went... No, I'm out. <laughs> but they made crafting, like, uh, collectible crafting, stupid easy. Collectible crafting is now, like, so stupid easy. Oh, man. It's, like, it's ridiculous how stupid easy uh, collectible crafting is. So, like, if you've ever wanted to, like, 
we thought about doing the custom deliveries to like, you know, max these guys out. Now's the time to do it before they change their mind and change up the system again. Because it's really, 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 really easy. <laughs> I've been collecting the crafting shiny glamours? What is, what is the crafting shiny? What, what's a shiny glamour? Whoa! That's one hell of a... What is that? What is that weapon? The blessing... Blessed milking saw? I... I don't think you're gonna be milking with that saw! That's gonna... The poor udders that you try to milk with that with! Oh my god! You get that for completing, I made that six chamber. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ugh. This is what, the New Year's event hasn't changed in like the past, ever. But this is the worst part of it, of it, is just sitting here waiting for the damn thing to spawn. Sorry old Bessie, we gotta make it faster than those four teats. <laughs> Ooh, you are a crafter. <laughs> White mage. How cute. <laughs> oh, so that's the uh, exar exarchic outfit, is it? Huh. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what am I wearing as a white mage right now? I forgot what I'm actually... Oop, must be drinking. There Oh yeah, I got the um, the second eating gear with Ingram. That's right. Are they scratching my search yet, though? Well, apparently this um, latest one actually that they the latest one that they put through is um, they're gonna be the last one. Like apparently it's like either the last one, like the pre-finale or the finale. So. Oh, I couldn't ask you to do that for do that for me. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I I I can earn the 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 ones with the with the tome stones. That's a lot of a lot of work and gathering of materials and stuff. I couldn't ask you to do that. <laughs> I'd feel bad. <laughs> Let's see, wait, wait a minute. <clears throat> we put bits of paper with different takeaways into a bowl. Whichever one that gets drawn is what we'll have tonight. That's a way to do it. It's an interesting way to do it. <clears throat> oh, okay. You can... I'll give you the per privilege of making my Dark Knight, White Mage, bar Bard, Red Mage, and Summoner outfits. <laughs> you can go ahead. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, Fluffy! How you doing? Get a one quarter chicken and chips and two pineapple fritters. Mmm, that sounds good. Okay, we got we got two of them that are about, about to end in a minute. So hopefully that will free up a space on the, the fate, the fate list for this one. Actually, that's one of my things um, that Cindy and I love making, uh, especially when it's like warm up, warm out, to, uh, warm enough to for, um, for uh, uh, grilling, like outdoor grilling on the on the grill. You know, not really much of a of a winter uh, dish. Oh, here it is. No, wait, no, I think this is a different one. Nope, that's a different one. Damn it. That's not it. I got excited. I got excited. That's not it. Um, is what we do is actually we take um, a big old pot. We boil it out of water. We boil it. And, um, oh, sure. Um, we boil it and we put a bunch of um, this seasoning called uh, it's got Goya adobo. So you would just put a bunch of that in there in the boiling pot, right? And then we take uh, chicken quarters, the um, thigh, and, thigh and leg. And we put them in there, 
and we cook them in there in the hot water as it's, so it's, it's bubbly and blah, 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 with the goya adobo so the goya just soaks into the meat mm. and it's basically cooking in there and we cook you would do that until until they're nice and cooked you know they're cooked because you could take the a knife and when you just pull through it and it's just so tender mm. then what you do is after it's nice and cooked you you, you boiled your chicken to um not rawness um you take them out carefully because you don't want them to uh you know fall apart on you and then you just slather those bad boys up you just you just take your um your barbecue sauce your sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce and you squeeze that bottle out into a big old bowl and you take the baster thingy or not the baster the, the little brush thingy for you know barbecue sauce and you brush it all over those chicken quarters brush it all over brush it all over brush it all over and then you take that son bitch out and onto the grill and you just you're just grilling the uh you know the the barbecue sauce to give it that smoky grilled flavor <laughs> there you go um you know you don't want to put you don't need it you don't need it on for too long thank you searing and you just flip it you know if you flip it once or twice you know a couple of minutes if even that like maybe two minutes and it's done you bring it in and it's just Mwah, mwah, oh so good combination of that of the nice sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce and the goya adobo that's soaked into the meat during the boiling process it's just so good you know what i'm just gonna do this fate just to get it out of here <laughs> just to make it go away All right, pricks, bring it on. <laughs> wow, my, my 230 HPs. <laughs> I wish there was like a good fish and chips place around here, but there really isn't. The, the closest we have is a fast food place to, called Long John Silver's, and it's eh. Long John Silver's. It's like, you know, what, what they do to fish. It's just like, hmm. I hear these things come from the ocean, and they have salt water. Yeah, you know, there's salt in that water, so we're just gonna like piles tons of salt all over it. I'm not that prolific in the kitchen. Whee! I still want the calf skin outfit set. What is that? I have no idea where to get it and from the market board it's horribly so The calf skin? What is that? Hmm. Huh. See, I want to know what 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 fish is fish and chip usually made of? Because I like fish and chips, but I don't like a lot of fish. Because I I don't like salmon. Salmon's just like, uh, bleh. I don't like it. For a Monday, if you get it, if you can get it. Oh. All right, the one up there. All right, we only have one on the field. So there it is! Woohoo! Found it! Where's dude? There's dude. Hello, Mochi Daikan. Well met, adventurer. If you come to observe the Mochi bounding, look no further. I wish preparations, but mo finished preparations moments ago, and our Gozu is fit to forgive the Mochi rice of most thorough pounding. All right. So it's just gonna be the same one as every year, only this time it's a giant Minotaur as opposed to a Cyclops. That's the only thing they changed. Okay. Ladybug, get out of here. Oh, there you are. Hello, thing. Oh. Whoa, what? Why is it attacking me?
best for the moment. Alright, I'm going to have to remember that after I'm done with the event. Don't look at me! Look at that! Look at that tank over there! Living mochi. It looks so tasty. We should eat it. Uh oh. Did summon it summoned things. Things dead. Okay, so it was a little different than the other events because the Cyclops never fought us. <laughs> this time it looks like the, uh, okay, they've changed it a little bit. So we have an extra obstacle on the field, not just the, uh, the Living Mochi's attacks. Cotter had if we have other fish as well. Oh, what the hell? It's halfway dead. Ah! <laughs> the name of the, uh, the movie in the series is called Squish and Flick. <laughs> Remember, squish and pick. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh. There we go. Cool looking Minotaur, though. <laughs> I'll say, that is a cool looking Minotaur. Damn Minotaur guy, go away! You're supposed to be pounding the mochi, not us. Yeah, they made a bit of a challenge this year, so I'm, I'm at least happy about that. Got him! Ten. Ten heavens turn tickets, eh? Very well. I'm coming for you, Zephyrgate. <laughs> Ooh, fight, 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 fight. <laughs> I've never actually seen a mochi pounding. The only mochi pounding I've ever seen is the Final Fantasy XIV version, so... Aft Castle. And I think in um, the trailer for, for uh, Monster Hunter Rise, I believe they actually showed, because they, they were showing off uh, Kagura Town, uh, they actually showed um, two two felines were actually um, pounding mochi, I believe. You are returned! But what of the mochi daikon? And where is Wakamaru?
They are huge, you but a bug yo! And none of the wor none the worse for wear, all things considered. Set by sentient mochi. I swear that this year's reserves, mortar and mortar and all, I can but imagine what terrible creature you faced. Would that this were the only time it was necessary to overcome such tra travails. No doubt you remember last year's celebration of the rat and the monster born from the wa waters of Daitenzan's soul spring. I believe a sliver of that mochi monstrosity somehow survived. How it found its way to our supplies is anyone's guess. That is neither here nor there. Thanks to the efforts, your efforts, the beast is no more. And we have more than enough advent cakes for our celebration. Brawl! <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I offer you this. A kabuto, much like mine own. Adorned with the likeness of the majestic ox. Ah, but before you leave, might I also be so bold as to ask a favor of you? I wish to deliver, to deliver treats to as many of the residents here in Limsa Lomitsa as possible. I suspect you know these streets re far better than I. What an excellent idea! Bwah! If you are up to the task, we can discuss the details of my plan further. I will take the black one. What is that? <laughs> Happy Moo Year, really. <laughs> Ready to deliver advent cakes to the masses, are you? Good. The task shouldn't prove un unduly difficult. I imagine that people will only be t too happy to receive the treats. If you could take yourself to these four locations and hand them to passerby, hand them to passerby, that should suffice to spread word of our festivities. Mwah. Iwakamaru would accompany you once again, it would seem. Perfect. With him at your side, your intentions will be plain for all to see. Now then, I shan't keep you any longer. Go forth and let the good people know that heaven's turn is upon us. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, Tyro, Fluffy, get a room. Destination. <laughs> Just when I thought I heard a peculiar low uh, lowing, Brethel, come see. They're handing out advent cakes. Cake? I'm afraid my stomach couldn't handle it right now. And there I was thinking your condition had improved. At any rate, might I trouble you for two? One for me, and another for when his stomach was more agreeable. I would have one as well, if I may. Alright! How you doing, wow uh, Admiral! Well, well. If it isn't my esteemed guildmasters. Come to partake of Advent Cake as well, have you? We have. We weren't aware you were fond of them too, Admiral. Admiral. Aye, and busy as you are. I thought you would, would have sent someone to collect in your stead. These advent cakes are said to bring one good fortune, are they not? I cannot well imagine good fortune not would favor those unwilling to make an effort to pers personally receive it. A sentiment with which we can relate, Adm Admiral. The gods know we crafting folk are, are a superstitious lot. Aye, and cakes aside, I've, <clears throat> aside, I have to say that just being out here amidst the festivities is doing me good. My head feels clearer already. 
I'm glad to hear it. I too enjoy the opportunity to be out here alone, just another citizen, without an armed escort. Marshal Swafujian will have a thing or two to say afterwards, but it is worth it. Now then, if you would be so kind. My thanks. And now, to find a quiet place to enjoy this, to enjoy this in peace. We should be taking our leave as well. Thank you again for the cake. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, I'm going to see what this one is. Hello, this one. Ah. Oh, it's you! What's this then? Alright, oh, Evan's turn. Let's have one of them cakes then. Actually, make it two. I know someone would be mighty, mighty sore to miss out. Fisher Guild! <laughs> If it isn't the ever ravishing rush win, come to secure some celebratory sweets, have you? What, Lago? The hell's you do with sneaking up with folks like that? <laughs> I've seen you. You've not one but two advent cakes. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were securing a snack for a significant someone as well. You've got it all wrong. I'm feeling famished. See, and one cake wouldn't be enough to satisfy me. Is that right? And there was bl boldly believing that one was bound for Carvalian. Carv now you listen here. You say one more, and I'll cut your blabbering tongue. Death be damned. Ah, still fast to fly into a fury, I see. Small wonder you can't reel in a romantic rendezvous. Hm. I'm leading. I'm leader of the Sanguine Sirens. I'm no interest in such nonsense. Tyro! Uh, Liza, get the spray bottle. Get the spray bottle, Liza. <laughs> Sounds senseless stubbornness. If, not, if she's not tr true to her feelings, she'll never catch the fish she fancies. What have we here? A calf. Ah, but of course. Heaven's turn. You must be distributing advent cakes. If you have some left, I should like to have one. Oh, wait, wait, uh, uh, Carvalion. Uh, someone has already come to collect a cake on your behalf. On my behalf? I do not recall giving such an order to my crew. Well, if it should transpire that you have had the forethought to procure one in my stead, then all well and good. But until such time as that is known, a cake, if you please. Blackfoot, spray harder! <laughs> oh dear. A sticky, a sticky, a sit. Wait. A situation as sticky, though nowhere near as scrumptious, as the cakes. Speaking of which, may I have one too? Blah. I want I want you to spray him with that, that water bottle until he's so he's so wet he shorts out to ground. <laughs> I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, I, I want to see an elect electricity based dragon get shorted out. That'd be funny. <laughs> Blah. 
Captain Featherhoof. What a, what a welcome surprise. In the company of a young calf? If you're working for the Far Eastern Delegates, then I take it you have Advent Cakes. Might I trouble you for one? And this is awesome. I should go fast. <laughs> a shot! Should you, uh, should you be at your post? Ah! Well, 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 the lieutenant was on break, you see, and... Uh... <laughs> I think they both do. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just you, Batterin. I thank you not to startle me like that. <laughs> Apologies, Commander. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Commander. What is it? Have you something on your mind? It's nothing, lass. It feels strange to call ye by your title is all. What are you implying? Do you think me unworthy of my station? No, oh, no. It's just... Ah, uh, when I look at you. I still see the spirited young adventurer what was determined to help damn near everyone and stepped in her path. The kind-hearted girl's still there, mind. But she's down, done some growing, too. I can't think of anyone better to lead the fo foreign levy. I'm proud of you, lass. I... I don't know what to say. Any road, you're handing them out, out, out them cakes, am I right? I'd be much obliged for one. Hmm. <clears throat> if it's all the same to you, I ask that you keep the conversation private. Now, if you excuse me, I must return to my post. Blah, blah. Is a, there was a minion version of Brute Justice? I didn't know there was a minion version of Brute Justice. I want a minion brute version of Brute Justice. I love Brute Justice. I'd probably have to like beat it on like savage mode or something like that and have like a 0.05% of chance of it dropping. Blah, blah, blah. You're rather far from the Culinarian Guild. That's in the south part of here. What are you doing up here? What's this now? Spreading a bit of heaven turns cheer, are you? Hope that means you've got advent cakes to share as well. What the fuck is that name? Nidcap, Nidimon was not expecting such an unexpected meeting. Well, well, if it ain't our trusty Elpa from last year's festival. Nidimon helped muchly, but Nidcap's help was much more helpful. Many readers read the, the Harbor Herald, and many came to taste, taste the advent cake. Thanks to you, people have a newfound respect for Kikirns. Come now, I merely gave you your honest opinion of the food. It was your hard work that won what went over the folk. He has not credited himself with enough credit. Without your dis descriptive descriptions of cakes, people may have never tried them. Well, anyone what appreciates a good treat would uh, would have come, would have come around eventually. I reckon, I uh, would have come around eventually. I reckon, but I appreciate your kind words all the same. But enough, talk uh, but enough talking talkatively. Nini Ron would feast on the feast of cavern cakes. There you go. I reckon people work work hard to make cakes. Nini Ron think of them as Nini Ron chewy chew on chewy goodness. 
<laughs> I like his, uh, his, his speech patterns. <laughs> a strong sense of duty, that one. Well, I, I be off myself. Need to find a nice quiet spot to enjoy me own morsel. Okay, bye. Have a beautiful time. You must have a fun time getting through doors with that with those horns on your head. <laughs> Sometimes I imagine what uh you know, just little weird little things like uh, if we lived in a furry world. Like if we woke up tomorrow in a furry world, and everyone was, it was, it was a fudgy, anthro, anthro animal person. How all the things they'd have to contend with. You know, the poor cre people who now have horns and antlers. You know, accidentally, you know, or with long necks. You know, accidentally like smacking into the tops of door frames or ceiling fans. <laughs> it's Liza. Hi, Liza. Look at you being all Liza e with your. Level 74 Barditude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Creatures with horns and antlers, they would never be able to wear a t-shirt again. They, they, they would all, all, it would, it's all button-up shirts all the time for them. <laughs> ah, you're returned. And with far fewer cakes than when you left. In the Far East, it is said that the Ushi is the embodiment of honest and hard work. Qualities with which I see are shared by the, the adventurers of this land. I have no doubt this year's Seven's turn will be a rousing success. Thanks in no small part to you. Blah! Blah! Here's my son, just so I can get tummy rubs. <laughs> You mean your significant other does not give you tummy rubs? Well, for shame upon them. I need one of them. Boop. And one to them. There we go. God, Tyra, you're still on that. <laughs> Jeesh. Hmm? When did I get two more? Well, Rage on England, some you know, in your, in your private time. This is this is supposed to be fun time. Everyone gets a long time. <laughs> or ragging, not raging, but. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. White mage, and moving on. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff away real quick. Ah. Oh, you're leaving us already? Yeah. I see how it is. I <laughs> see. Fine. It's okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, I have showered. Thank you very much. Wait, how do I? Oh wait, I gotta go into housing first. Let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna place it just real quick. This is a little thing, isn't it? I can't even see it. Hold on a minute. Oh, it's little cows! Oh, that's kind of cute. Huh. Oh, their heads bob! Oh, I gotta find- I gotta find a place for that. I gotta find a place for that. In this mess of a room I have. I wonder if I could put it on top of the armoire. I wonder if it'll let me do that. Ah! 
No, what? Uh, the the armor the top of the armor doesn't count as a surface. That doesn't look like it counts as a surface. Damn. Figures about helium and Hoofy is part balloon supplier. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. I really don't have a place for it. My room is too full of crap. <laughs> oh well, I'll store it then. Where'd it go? Oh, god damn it. It's, it went back underneath here, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> this is oh, my storage is getting kind of full. 69 out of 100. Because I collect everything that I get. Have a, have a good sleep, Tyro. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah. I'll take my bull helmets. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Okay. How many, uh, how much do I, uh, like, do I have now? The, uh, yeah, I got the horsey, the taro. What is taro again? That's oh, the bird. Got the bird. Inu. That's, uh, that's the popper. Got the popper. Yep. Ino shishi. That's the pig. Okay, we got the pig. Nezumi. I think that was the rat. Yep, we got the rat. And Ushi. The bull. Okay. I've seen a lot of New Year's here. <laughs> See, I wasn't actually here for the horsey one. The horsey one came when I wasn't here. But uh, Tyra actually bought that for me as a gift. I wore that. I, I did wear that for a few weeks. Alright, let's see. Next we're going to go do... Well, check in on because uh, actually we have a um, we need to finish up with our friends the uh, the rat people. Finish off the last beast tribe quest. Hey, it's Fatty! Hey, Fatty! Oh yeah, I can't be this class. I gotta change to the proper class, proper attire. There we go. Where do I now? Doobie 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 Raindrop cotton ball. Hooray! I got one. <laughs> cool. Got him. Ta da. Water horse! Yay! Ah, uh, Leviathan is always a fun... Always fun fight. Alright. Hey, it's a girl, Katol! Jiro Katol is pondering the history of Ronka and his people. Oh, Warren, on behalf of this, all the stewards, I thank you for your tireless efforts. You have our sincere gratitude. Indeed, Mikatari must bear the responsibility of having spread the pox to these parts of the forest. Finally, we have brought this painful chapter of our history to a close. And we could not have done so without your invaluable aid. As f at first, I feared we might damage our reputation with the Knights Blessed and the V's beyond repair. Instead, we have managed to overcome the plague together. And in doing so, the time-tested bonds between our peoples are stronger than ever before. I travel to Slitherpile and Fennow all the time and to share tidings from the forest with the, my newfound friends. Oh, do you? That's just cute. With the guidance of the Great Serpent, we have reclaimed long-lost knowledge. 
Not just of our own kind, but of the great Ronka itself. In studying, in studying the restored st Stila, I have had occasion to reflect and ruminate on the history of the Empire. It truly was a great civilization, controlling and exerting influence all over all of the ancient Novrant. It was a civilization of great enlightenment, welcoming myriad peoples and uh, uniting them under a single banner to live in peace and prosperity. Home and V's, Kitari and Ronso, living side by side and working to towards a common goal. The artistic and academic accomplishments of the Empire were many, and yet this, its greatest strength, would also prove its downfall, or so many theories hold. As the Empire expanded and the years went on, once strong friendships and alliances began to turn sour, small different disagreements flared into all-out conflicts, and Ronka, once akin to my a mighty tree that seemed as if it would stand forever, began to splinter from within. I imagine Ronka in his final years withered and died. No doubt the Emperor sat on his throne, waiting in vain for the arrival of one who would restore his empire to his former glory, waiting for the ally of Ronka. Compared to the long and studied history of Ronka, my own three years seem as insignificant as a drop of water in a great and gushing river. I understand that sentiment, my boy, but it is not so. While the lifespan of any one Kitari may be short, we must never underestimate the value of one shared knowledge and wisdom. Our shared knowledge and wisdom. Accumulated through our many experiences and records of the sake, for the sake of prosperity. Just as one forefather did their part to shape the course of Ronkin history, so too will the discoveries have, you have made serve to forge the future of our people and the great wood itself. But we must, must not forget our friends and allies. Without whose aid we may not have survived to see this day. Might I trust you to convey our gratitude to them on my behalf, Chakor? But of course, Father, consider our glad no, gratitude conveyed. He finally got a word right. Oh, am I learning? I see. Warren, might I trust you to escort my son to Fano? I would not be able to forgive myself if anything unfortunate happened to him on this day of triumph. Come, Warren. Master Laniel would be overjoyed to see us, I'm sure. Yay! I see. Thread the needle! Thread the needle! We threaded it. It pleases me to hear that all is well at the Stopple. We are honored to have done our part, our small part, to be of service to our Kitari friends. Never did I think I would live to see this age-old alliance of Ronka rekindled. For us, for us as well, Mr. Daniel, from ancient r rituals to the remedies that eased our pain in trying times, there is so much wisdom that we learned from you. I am certain that it is only the start of a long and fruitful friendship. You are wise beyond your years, my young friend. And there is much that you and your people have taught already taught us. Like that you carry fucking plagues and must be exterminated. Like the rats you are. <laughs> Promise that you will continue to share with us your gleanings from history. That we might put them to use ourselves in protecting and preserving our forest home. It would be an honor! All's well that ends well, yes? And now I do believe the time has finally come that I stopped tarrying and take to the road. Are you going somewhere, my good Madame Fina? I was part of a journey that will be, that has been far too long in the making. I intend to travel beyond the great, wo great woods, reached in search of fees who live scattered across the land, that they might join us here in Raktika to, together preserve and pass down the wisdom of Ronka. Fana has always been my home, and it will not be easy for me to leave it behind. And yet I will leave with the knowledge that this forest is in good hands. Promise me that you will let, not let. Uh, sw uh, oh god, that name. Cena. I don't say Cena. Get into too much trouble, yes? I dare say you are the one who needs looking after, sister. Perhaps I should accompany you. <laughs> Rest assured, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. F 
Forgive me, I refrain from stepping on in the midst of the, this sibling squabble. Go in safety, Fina. And know that the Azure Blooms will always guide you home. Thank you, Master Linneal. I will return. All right, perfect match for being a rat and her being a Durgan. Oh, that's nice. I am a doggo. Cindy is a rooster. I don't know if we're compatible or not, but that's that's how it is. <laughs> and with that, I'd best be off before I find another reason to delay my journey any longer. Yankee Curl, Warren, promise me that you will be back. Wait, promise me that you will be well. Yeah, I'll be fine. Fina. And you as well, uh, Sina. No matter how far my journey may carry me, know that the part of me is always here with you. So they both the entire are goats. And we're <laughs> from the same year. <laughs> oh, how cute. We don't goat love. Gonna bash your heads into each other. And I with you, sister. Goodbye is not easy, is it? But it is time we return to the road ourse again ourselves. We must pay our respects to Valen and, Ke and Keenfort as after all. Very well. We will not keep you any longer. Do pass along our, our respects to our friends in Slitherbow. It was I was not certain what to think of that uh, Keenfort at first. But he has proved a loyal friend. But of course! Should you ever have time, do come visit Father and I. Nothing would make me happier than to be able to show you around the stubble. Yes, Shadowtail. Uh, King Fort. You know, King Fort's fun and all, and I get that they they, try, they had to have that one outrageous character because they didn't bring fucking uh, Hildebrand back at all. But he's no Hildebrand. He's not. He's not. He's not a good replacement for Hild for Hildy. I miss Hildy. I can't believe we're we only have one patch left. And no Hildebrand. And one major patch. We still got the inter interim patches, but... I can't believe there's no Hildy in all of Shadowbringers. Making me sad. Oh, God! Really? Well. Oh, well. <laughs> we make it work. Oh, wait, no. This is, um, you stole this room. There you are. It is dark in here. Jesus. Light a lamp. Master Vaden, are you certain you should be up and about like this? Have no worries, my little friend. I'm feeling like my old self again. I hear that all is well again in the stopple, too. That truly is a relief. I shudder to think of what would ha have happened had all of us here in the Great Wood... Wait, I'm sorry. I shudder to think of what would have happened to all of us here in the Great Wood if you hadn't made your discovery. Truly, we owe you a debt of gratitude to your ancestors and their wisdom. And truly, we are all... We all owe a debt to the great serpent of Ronka, by whose divine auspices young Chikurl was led to the steel on which the cure was inscribed. Yes, praise be to the serpent! Praise be! Uh, you keep your voice down a bit. Some of us are still recuperating from a life-threatening plague, you know. <laughs> Speaking of which, Chikurl, whatever made you think of the... Uh, that little fellow was the great serpent in the first place. Was Keenford first? Wait, when, when Keenford first started rambling on at the on to that end, I thought he'd finally lost the last of his wits. And asked the question, Valen, and one I have been giving some thought to myself. Father had always told me tales of, of how the Ronkins worshipped a great serpent as their guardian and protector, but there were no clear records as to its physical appearance.
On the night that darkness returned to the skies, the small creature we now know we now know well arrived before us wearing this that curious hat. Intrigued, I followed I followed after it. It led me through the rev revel where I saw that the passage to our ancestral homeland was at long last open once more. Jumping for joy, I picked the small creature up and ran home to share the news with father. With a tear in his eye, he gazed at me deeply and spoke those words. The great serpent itself has arrived to guide us home. In that moment, I knew it must be so. A moment of divine inspiration, no doubt, and not although and not altogether unlike my own. Yes, this is a most fa this is most fascinating indeed. In my own case, the great serpent has appeared before me in my visions for as long as I can remember. Time and again, it shared with me the words of the wisdom that I have so dutifully recorded as the Gospel of Keenfort. One day, it called out to me with a terrifying scree, warning of a great calamity that was to befall the Great Wood if I did not rise to action. It was shortly after that we came upon the tiny creature in the forest, and I recognized it immediately as the incarnation of our divine protector. It is clear now that all was leading up to this day. Its first appearance in my visions, our meeting, all has been part of the Great Serpent's grand design to restore peace, harmony, and prosperity to the forest. Truly, we would never have been able to discover our history, nor overcome the spread of the plague were it not for the Serpent's guidance and wisdom. Clearly, your forefathers revered the Great Serpent as well. Why else would the, they have en I'm sorry, engraved it atop the final stela? buried deepest and furthest from the Sin Eater's reach. Now, this um, immaculately preserved Stilo stands before us as an inc un incontrovertible proof that this tiny creature is indeed that which we all instinctively perceive to be, the manifestation of Ronka's divine protector who hath come once more in our time of need to guide our peoples through trying times and into a new generation of peace and prosperity. Scree! Last time... After its work was done, the Great Serpent left us, going off to some place where only gods dare to tread. Actually, it's just been following Warren about on his adventures, you know. What nonsense is this, Valen? Clearly the, the Great Serpent has been watching over us all this time. In any event, it is clear that we owe the Serpent a debt of gratitude. It would be, it would be remiss of us not to make a pilgrimage to a site where we might properly pay us- uh, I'm sorry. Obeisance? I don't know that word. I would like nothing more than to pay obeisance, Master Keenfoot, but there is no telling where the serpent has gone. Where might we go that it might heed, hear our words? Fear not, my young Kitari friend, for I know that just the place, the ancestral slumbering place of the great serpent, the mighty crystal that has appeared before me time and again in my visions. I speak of none other than the fruit of our protector, Cradled amidst the waters of Lake Tusi Mektar, Valen and I make the trek there nigh every day to express our gratitude to the Great Serpent for deigning to share its divine guidance with us. Don't look at me like that, Warren. I didn't go every time. And what I did, it was just to keep Keenfort here out of trouble. And just how should we go about expressing our gratitude to the Great Serpent? An astute question, my young friend. If you wish, I would be happy to share with you some choice passages from the Gospel of Keenfort that would be most suitable for the occasion. Uh, for example, there is chapter 15, verse 5, which begins as follows. Oh, hawking unto the heavenly scree. <laughs> uh, never mind Keenfort's rambling. I'm sure the serpent would appreciate it all the more if you, if you thanked it in your own words. And so would the rest of us. Trust me. Uh, thank you, Valen. I believe I will do just that. Oh, hello there, Fluffy Pun. How are you? Aye, Hoofy Pun is going over here to do the things. I'm going to pay respect to the great drunken serpent on the back of a giant elephant. Woo, we're going to do all this. What the hell? <laughs> You're silly, Blackfoot. Fluffy Pony is okay. Huh?
<laughs> well, here I am. But what words can truly convey my feelings to the Great Serpent? <laughs> you get to say thank you. <laughs> Perhaps I should keep it simple. Yes. Oh, great serpent! Thank you ever so much for watching over us. And have my most sincerest gratitude. It was by your guidance that my people will have reclaimed our history and that I have made so many new friends and allies. I promise that we will never forget you and to pass down tales of you for generations and generations to come. And then hatches a great demon that we have to fight as a fucking uh, botanist. What's happening? <laughs> Do you think this happened? Heard of my words? Scree! Scree! <laughs> it's a ticking time bomb! It's gonna take out the whole forest! When the crystal glimmered and glowed, it almost felt like it was speaking to me. Do you believe this means the serpent heard my words? At the very least, I take heart in knowing that I have conveyed my thanks to the serpent and to all our new friends throughout the forest. And with this, I can return to Father at the Stopple and my with my head held high. Mm, okay. Yay! I spin me right round, baby, right round, like a man on top of a turtle, round, round, round. <laughs> they believe Pokemon has been around for 25 years. Yep, I was there. I was there, Shadowtail, day one, with my Game Boy, my yellow brick Game Boy, playing Pokemon Red. Yes, sir. I think I still have it back there, behind me. Yep, it's right down there. Behold my old Game Boy case. <laughs> Pokemon Red. Hell yeah. Along with Pokemon Gold <laughs> and my Yellow Brick Game Boy. <laughs> Did you take the batteries out, right? I did. Good. Ah, uh, look at the days when we still had instruction manuals. I miss the days of instruction manuals. <laughs> Behold! My Pokemon's Trainer's Guide! Now, thank you enough for accompanying my son throughout the forest. To that end, you have gone above and beyond on your our behalf. It is a debt of gratitude the Kitari will not soon forget. D 
did it? <laughs> I, I must have missed it. If you claim our heritage and history, we have our, our sort of kind of time-honored bonds of friendship with our fellow residents of Raktika. The nice blessed, the V's, the great serpent, and not least of all, Warren, ally of Ronka. All have played a part in events that will be etched in the annals of history. The annals. Yes, the stewards shall see to it that these events are handed down to our children and our children's children, and so on until long after our, we ourselves are gone. We have our, You have our word. In the meantime, we shall continue our excavation of the tunnels beneath the stopple. I have ever considered commissioning the creation of a new stela, in which all will be gleaned in, in recent days may be recorded for posterity. Why then I might not have seen eye to eye in our imperturations of history, but I can assure you that we are of a like mind regarding the future we would forge for our people. Obey Blade, okay. Okay, I, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I read that wrong. I thought you, I thought you read, wrote Keyblade. <laughs> oh, you have grown, Jacob. It now brings a tear to my eye. Thank you for everything, Warren. I know that there are many places you must journey, but know that you will always be, have a home here in the Stopple. Is that not so, O Great Serpent? Beast Tribe Quest completed! And now, Max Reputation with all of the Shadowbringers peoples. You have achieved Blood Sworn Reputation with the Stewards. You will receive Experience Point Bust while glitching the Katari Beast Tribe Daily Quests. I don't need it. <laughs> but thank you. Hmm? Oh, someone sent me a message. All right, anything new? Anything new for the vendor? Nope. Oh! The Behatted Serpent of Runka. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. Another message! What's going on? All right, I got everything else. <coughs> there we go. Sweet! Now I just gotta wait for the patch in which uh, all of the um, all of the 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 what you call them's all the, you know the, the, where the the all three beast tribes have to come together to uh, to uh, do that last quest that will unlock the uh, rank nine with them. Although I don't know what they're gonna do because like the other quests always had to deal with that that evil douche with the sable eye. So, I don't know what they're going to do about that. Because he's not in this world. Oh, wait. Here we go, 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 here Okay, um, let's take a quick old stop at our good old buddy, the Golden Saucer. That's 15 of Pokemon Blue Red released in 1999. I was... How old was I? It was 99? Sixteen? Sixteen, seventeen? Do we do we do? That was eight. Oh, you youngsters, you. Wasn't there a new... Did they say a new uh, emote was available from here? Just where they did. Hmm. I swear they said there was new, a new uh, email available. No, oh, well. Damn. All bad. Oh, 
Well, there's plenty of things to, to get from it. Ah! Oh, that bad one again. Damn it. Ah! 9, 10, 14. No, don't do that one. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to the, uh, get my free 10k. It's coming up, I think that was just, I think that I am just going to kiss it. Oh, no, no, you don't have to do that. I don't want to do that, I don't care. Ah. Ah. <clears throat> Come on, give me my, just, just judge me and give me my free 10,000. Do impose this, yeah! Look at my hot cat man body! Ugh. <clears throat> well, you don't have to have people over to celebrate your birthday. <laughs> exactly, see? Alright, let's see. Uh, no Ghost Saucer event going on right now. Might be an extra spend it on. I was going to say it with all you guys. <laughs> I think I, re I think I remember that. Let's see. What was, it, what was the other thing I was going to do? I think that was it. I think that was all I was going to do. Uh, at least, the, you know, the, the normal stuff. So, now I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to see what that... Uh, I have a feeling I know who sent it. I'm going to see what uh, new messages I got over here. I continue to miss the garbage can that's less than three feet away. Ah. Let's see what we got, y'all. Deliver rod. Oh god, you didn't. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Blackfoot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know I said I could, I could, I know. <laughs> What the heck is on my face? What is that? And that's the hell. What is the helm piece? Is that? It's, oh, it's supposed to be a circlet. That's a weird circlet. It, it doesn't work well with this haircut. It actually doesn't go through. It's like it's underneath the haircut, so it's weird. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, oh wait, not that. Uh just well, you can glamour everything. The Game Boy, the color of the po the color of the pocket and the advanced SP. Also had the DS and 3 I had the brick, the color, and then I didn't have another Game Boy until the advance. Look like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the way it looks, it almost looks like my eyebrows are bright white. <laughs> if he died too, just about anything I think. 
Well, anything that has that little circle there, the top right-hand corner of the icon, that anything that has that little circle, that could be, that that could be dyed. <laughs> Thank you, man. In the meantime, I'm gonna go out. I'm actually gonna go out now. I'm gonna go out and uh, do my dailies. I'm gonna do my roulettes rather. Ooh, actually, before I do my roulettes, I need to take a stop and go talk to our, our little girl. You wanna come along, uh, Blackfoot? Wanna go do some roulettage? If you're able. I don't know how many things you've actually unlocked. Okay. I'm still. I'm on 5.0 still. Ah. Hmm? Oh, that's what happened. Okay. I really need to go through this again. Get rid of some stuff. Wait. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Here's that. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Right. So I should that should have been the same with White Mage too. Oh, I had the deep shadow. Oh, that's why it still has icon because it, it also was on Yeah. I also have Scholar. Forgot about that. It's hard on you. How is it hard on you? Where's Scholar at? There's Scholar. Boop. There now. I should be out of that. Which means I can get rid of that. Yes. Get rid of you. Don't need you no more. Uh, place back in the armor chest. Oh, for the love of... I really need to go through my, my stuff again. Uh, you, go with the turn inventory for now. What? What? There, stupid thing. There we go. <laughs> Oh, yes, I got some of this stuff. I discard that. There we go. All right. As all three Dark Knight Country games, I nearly died of happiness. <laughs> yep. It's hard because I never played games like this, and it's hard on console. Well, I mean, it's hard on console. I I played on the PS4 like many times. What's, what's hard about it on console? Is it just like getting used to the controls, or? All right. What do we got to do? There we got normal. It's okay. Uh, World of Darkness. Read around on Lighthouse, House. Quill of the Hunter Three. I can go do that by myself. Shit. <laughs> I figured it. it. It like I I learned to play this game on PS3. Like that's where I learned to play this game. So it it, it uh, so like even like right now as you can see down here I I still play with controller because that's how I learned to play the game. Oh, you got to make me party leader. Um. Uh, Blackfoot. Or you set up the roulettes. 
Because if you set up the roulettes, I know, like, whatever is on your roulette table, I'll be able to do with you. Because I've unlocked, you know, I've already unlocked them all. I don't know what you've unlocked and what you haven't. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. Okay, that one doesn't work. All right. Let's go to the next one down. Okay, that one doesn't work. <laughs> let's go to the next one down. Oh, let's find the one that gets the most weightages. 50. Yeah, it gives the most. Let's good old main scenario, because why not? Wish I never got rid of my NES and all the games I had. They'd be worth a small fortune now. You mean... An NES? Hmm? <laughs> my little old... Hello. I'm an NES. I'm really old. It don't really work, but I'm here. <laughs> I actually gotta replace the 72-pin connector inside. It's actually all corroded. It doesn't it doesn't play any um, any games because it's corroded inside. The contacts that is. Uh. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it corroded years ago. When I was still a child, it, it corroded. But um, it, you know, it's just I mean, he has the internets now, and I could just easily go on like Amazon or eBay and buy a new seventy-two pin connector and then tear it open and. Replace it. I just haven't yet. <laughs> right. Level 7. Amarang, level 70 snitch. All right. So I still have all the cables. They're, so, they're around here somewhere. I'm not sure where I put the cables, but they're around here somewhere. But, um, yeah, it, like, it, it's just when I put the, any game in, it just does that thing where it just, like, flashes random colors or it was hold on a single random color. So, I just have to, I just have to, um, one of these days just get it, get it fixed, yeah, get, get a new connector. That's all I need to do. Snitch. Where's the snitch? There's the pitch. That's a, there's the twitch. Where's the snitch? Down here? Where the fuck is the twitch? Or the, or the switch? Am I blind? I still have an old Sega on my little... My little broke it last year he was over he has gamer rage oh god hey Akila. uh in, in, oh there's the snitch there it is okay i um my, my old sega still exists but um i have two other brothers and a sister and you know that we all moved out of the house my parents like gave each one of us like one of the old systems i got the nes my brother and my one brother got the sega and my other brother got this Nintendo 64, but he left it here when he left when he moved to California. So I still ha I have a Z64 sitting in here, but it doesn't have like any of the cables, so it's just a paperweight at this point. How's Akila doing? Let's see. Ooh, uh, let's check here. This is the new system for getting collectibles. Oh crap! Um, I meant to do this first, and then that. It's very easy to max out collectability with that. <laughs> Take a little uh, high cordial. I got. I got. I want to say most of the Nintendo consoles, the old PS One and Two, 
still, but when my dad kicked me out of it, he didn't let me get the game. Just you. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't know that, Liza. Do scrutiny, followed by scour. Then another scrutiny, followed by another scour. And then a scour. And then collect. And I got my three. Let's go talk to Kaishir. First game I own for my own Mega Drive is Tetris. It's worth six. Wow! Damn! I don't have anything like that. So I'm trying to think of the co all the consoles I've had. So I've had a Nintendo, but I didn't have a Super... Like, I didn't own another Nintendo console. Well, I got a GameCube now, but I didn't... So I missed the Super Nintendo and the N64. Oh, the N64's right there. That's right. So I guess I do own them. <laughs> um, I had a Sega Genesis, but I never had any of the other Sega systems. Like, none of the other Sega systems. Um, let's see. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, PSP. I never had a Vita. Um, Xbox 360 is the only Xbox I own. Oh, I needed six? Oh, crap. Well, I guess I'm going back. Crap. Oh my god, phone, shut the hell up! I thought just buzz, 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 buzz. What the, who's trying to call me at this hour? It's not even a number I recognize. The hell? They tried to call me twice now. That's still lots of mons. <laughs> but if you upgrade, uh, keep doing the things with Kai Shear to upgrade here. This little lady shows shows up here. Now there's actually you know her singing in here now. All right. Ugh. Which one are we doing? The, sh the longer one or the shorter one? The shorter one. Good. Gave my Nintendo to a work charity family. I hid it in the bottom of a box full of socks. Well, that's very nice of you, Blackfoot. Get your ass moving there, tanky. Divide and conquer tanks, there's two of you. Always like this dungeon. It's quick. You know, compared, you know, compared to the other main scenario quest dungeon. And, uh... It's always fun just to beat down Livia. Ooh! What is thy noms? Hmm. And now I'm making, you're making me hungry. I, I didn't eat when I got home from work today, so I'm actually a little on the hungry side. And now it's too late to eat. <laughs> that doesn't mean my stomach ain't gonna give me the growly noises. <laughs> I could. But we don't have any cookies. Man, let's hope that those healers we got in this group today can actually keep up. Oh, you know, that, oof, that healer, he better be able to keep up. <laughs> Cinderella, fine fried chicken. <laughs> Missed 
I think it's about dead. Just taking a wild guess here. Yep. Two in the trap. Ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. Hi, Sid. Oh, man. See that performance by the healers? I swear. Psh. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. Is there any other consoles I had? Had and or have? Uh, the... In Nintendo, like I said, I had an NES and a Game Boy. And I didn't have another, well, like I said, and a Game Boy Color and Advance and a DS and a 3DS. But I didn't have another Nintendo console until... Because I have an N64 now and a GameCube now, but I didn't at the time. I skipped Nintendo all the way in, from the NES until the Wii. I didn't actually have another, like, home console Nintendo game until the Wii after the NES. But I've had every Nintendo system since then. Like, I did a lot of catching up with GameCube games when I got the Wii. Because, um... Because the, the Wii could also play GameCube games. I did a lot of catching up. Playing the original Animal Crossing, and Tales of Symphonia, and, um... Uh, the Wind Waker, which I still say is overrated. Not graphically. Graphically, they did a good job. They did a good job with the design. But it's just like, you know, ooh, yay! Open world ocean with... Nothing. <laughs> So, but, um, let's see, well, and then the Metroid Prime games, oh, I was so happy to get to play game games just so I could play the Metroid Prime games, and then the Wii got Metroid Prime Trilogy, which was like, oh, well, shit, why did I waste my money on getting the Prime, the Prime games on GameCube when they re release them as the Prime Trilogy? God damn it. It could attach to the GameCube so you could play Game Boy games on it. I want that! I, I saw that and I want it. But it's um, extremely rare to find it and the disc. You can find the actual piece of plastic really easy for really cheap. But um, the disc is actually just like lost to time, apparently. Like if you can find the disc, apparently it's just like, that's like a white whale sort of situation. It's like, you actually found the disc? Or some people just sell just the disc and they don't sell the, the, uh, the thing. Man, who stepped in the freaking light? But you know, to find the disc is way rarer. Way, way rarer. Um, warrior, warrior, slow down, slow down! We need to kill these to get the items, dude! Otherwise, there's no point in being over here! I do have the disc, because I always hit it in my room for my sister. Good call! And boom! Guys, wait for me! Come on! Come on, guys! Wait for me and Blackfoot! You can't just leave us behind! Yeah, when I, the, the first thing when, because my brother, when he moved into his house, they, like, the people who lived there beforehand just left a crap ton of stuff in the, in the basement and garage. And within them was a, uh, a GameCube. Um, and you could tell that it used to have a Game Boy player on it, because the bottom's missing. But it works for perfectly fine otherwise. And the first thing I did, I was like, I need to find a GameCube player. I need to find a GameCube player. And I went on, the, online to try and find one, and I just saw the prices, and I'm like, Nope! 
And of course, I read all the, you know, the things that people are like, I bought this, but it doesn't work. And then, it's, you know, people are like, did it come with a disc? And they were like, what disc? And it was just like, oh, I see. So that, like, put my, put a damper on my, like, excitement to, to get one of them. Yay! Maggie! The first time, yeah, you know, we get the first time we see our matchstick armor being used by good guys <laughs> before it's given to us. Yeah, by who? Hey, it's good. It's always good to see you, Ellie. You take care. Hope to see you again soon. Scratch that value. Your touch copy is worth eleven thousand euro now. That was from a few years ago, apparently. Oof. It's uh. <laughs> it's time to put that son bitch up on uh. On uh. Ebay, Jesus. Pay off, pay off a couple of loans and bills. Oh yeah, I oh, think I the key. They got it. Yes, DS, uh, Black Mage. You use your sprint so that you can run over here. <laughs> So our dancer and our warrior are both newbies. Right, let's see if they'll stop to let me use the cannons or if they're just going to run through. People love to just run through and don't let me use the cannons anymore. Yay! Someone stopped to let me use the cannons! Thank you! I got to use the cannons again. It's been so long since I got to use the cannons. Hey, little pup. Hey, little, hey, Nick. What's happening? I miss that. I miss the days when Spine Shatter Dive used to um, used to cause stun. I mean, I wish it still caused stun. Get ahead of me, tanks. Go on, get up there. Come on, come on, look at the tanks. There you go. Yoink. Where's my different cursor? Let me take a break from cat. Catching up to him. Start, start to like the charge blade. That's because the charge blade is awesome. That's why. I love charge blade. That, that, that's like my second favorite weapon in the game, right after hunting horn. The only downside to charge blade is that um, is sometimes, and maybe it's just me and the way I play. Sometimes it is a little difficult to set up. Um, to set up the, uh, the big bada boom that it does, you know, charging up the shield and charging up the sword and getting off the big bada boom, because enemies really love to not knock you out when you're trying to when you're doing your big wind up. It's because I play a lot of solo. That's probably why. That's probably my problem. If I have other people playing, they, and it was in an issue where it, uh, I was looking at somebody else, I'd be able to get it off more often.
They're glamoured as a, in their level one gear. I love it. I love when people do that. When they're like max level, and they 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 uh, glamour into the uh, into the uh, level one gear. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Well, I don't, you know, I don't, I haven't had it for most of the time. <laughs> what am I missing? What's... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of Medicus this is. So you say you're catching up on Monster Hunter World. Where where are you in the game? Like how far are you still in World, or did you get to Iceborne? Maybe both stories. It's just defense stuff. Oh, that yeah. <coughs> yeah, okay. I personally gave like this is not gave up. It's just I I got the fun out of World that I got. I got to, um, what was that? Not the, uh, not Fatalis, the monster before Fatalis. Elatrion, yeah. I got to Elatrion and that thing one hit KOs me. So I was like, well, I could grind and try and get proper attire and gear so they won't one hit KO me. But there are other games to play and I've had my fun with Monster Hunter World. I think it's time for me to move on. So I did. Elatrion and Fatalis, I never, never completed. The other day, definitely interesting. It absolutely is, little pup. Yep, I'm playing that on my channel. The new episode of that goes up tomorrow or later today, actually. I've beaten every well. That, 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 actually, the other thing I did that's not true. Elantrion and uh, Fatalis aren't the only enemy, monsters I never fought. I never fought Silver or Gold Rathian or um. The, the, what was that, that place with all the different biomes? I didn't fight like this, any of the special monsters from that either. It's because of Rise coming up and I wanted to practice. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually... I went the other way with it. Um, I'm actually in my free time when I'm not recording or editing or anything, or streaming. I'm actually playing um, uh, Generations Ultimate on the Switch. I'm going old school. And uh, let me tell you what. It's not just the mechanics that are different. I'm surprised about how many goddamn quests there are for just gathering. There are so many gathering quests. It's, it's crazy how many gathering quests there are in the old games. Come on. Got him. <laughs> um, uh, damn! I wish I would. I wish I would have known that um, a few days ago, because they actually had like a massive Monster Hunter sale, like like Generations and Four on 3DS and uh, uh, World. Like they, they were all like on a big old sale recently. Download the Devil Rise, but two hours to download it. Really? What's your internet speed? Because I downloaded the demo for Rise in, I think it was like 36, 37 minutes? Also, are you doing Wi Fi or wired? Ah, that could be why. 
I have, I have the um, USB 3.0 to Ethernet adapter and with a Cat 7 on my uh, 100, 100 Mabibits down. Oh, so maybe it wasn't Wi-Fi. Maybe it's just your inner tubes, little pup. What's your, uh, what's your, what's your speed, your, your down, your down speeds on that? Because the demo's only like 1.6 gigs. It's not, it's not a huge download. Olivia, get over yourself. I need to fast bin and I like my values. Ouch! Like that's your that's your wait, is that your switches or the your home internets? So my home internets is a hundred down, but I think like on the switch it's only like even with the USB 3.0 adapter and a Cat7 cable, you know, it's like, I think it only downs at like 19. So. <laughs> you should! But no, it wasn't 19. That was with, um, that was on Wi-Fi, it was 19. It was like, uh, what was it? it was like 30-something with, uh, the cat cable. So if your home internet's 39 down, that means the switch is even lower than that. Are we doing that one? Is anybody doing this one? Okay, they're doing that one. Alright. I will help protect this one. Get her away from the cannon, please. Thank you. Get her away from the cannons. What are you doing? For the love of God, what is what are these people doing? Oy vey. We're already at 65 and a half. I understand that. Yes, just keep put keep her right next to the fuck, what are you Oh my god, dude. Well, there went our hand. There you go, geniuses. Are you doing this on purpose? Oy vey. We got a new hand, good. Yeah, purpose. They just don't know what they're doing. Something I don't know, Nick. Jesus, fuck. It's like, well, I got the aggro. Let me just stand right here next to the to the mechanic that we need to defeat her. It's like, I... Livia, you suck, and your sister Lucia is, is way better. So shut up. So does she really have 
guns on her vest. She does, yes. And the reason is Final Fantasy. <laughs> That's the reason. She's like a if a a um, machinist and a uh, and a monk like did the fusion dance. And then they also got, you know, a bit of a complex. Let's do it, baby! Look at her trying to hurt us. How adorable. It's so cute. Bye bye. Eh. She did. She go bye bye. Oh, I received a combination. Sweet. Ever closer to that fifteen hundred. Ever closer. <laughs> Where am I on that? There's my rep. Eleven ninety four. Oh, that's right. I deliver to you. Dings. I know, right? <laughs> they actually make it quite worth your while to uh, do the main scenario quest, even though they take forever. Ready to um to uh, um queue for another one there, Blackfoot? All right, sweet. Wait, where's my? Oh, I'm in the wrong class. That's why I couldn't find nothing. There's an increased integrity. Ooh, nice. I like when that happens. Boop. Boop. And collector rate. There's the three I needed. Back to you more. I got the sniffles. <laughs> what am I doing on the? Uh... I'll find out when I when I turn these in. Hi, Kaiser. 
Make it delivery. You're welcome. Give me my stuff. There we go. This should be the finale, I think. We finally managed to get Colden everything he asked for. Since our part of the bargain is taken care of, all we have to do now is wait to see how things turn out. Ah, uh, I almost forgot to mention that Master Shy wanted to see us. We even asked to meet with him by the Zalem Lift. I reckon we've got some wait, we've got some good news coming our way. So let's take Onfring and Zia along along to hear it. Oh yeah, I was gonna look up that, that outfit uh, Liza was talking about earlier, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you for coming on short short such short notice. What an honor it is to be joined by not only the Queen Bee himself, but the enchanted, enchanting Miss, Mistress Moen. We were enjoying one of our promenades when we chanced upon Master Chai, who graciously invited us to accompany him. I'm lucky I ran into you, as I neglected to invite you from the outset. After all, with the fortunes of your respective businesses being so closely tied to those of Yulmor, this affects you more than most. Kai sure. Your efforts have finally borne fruit. In other words... We can now commence airship flights to and from the Crystarium! Our newly repurposed fleet stands at the ready. As a matter of fact, preparations are now underway for our very first voyage. Oh, yes, 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 woo! Woo, yes. We did it! Now the Beehive will be absolutely swarming with visitors. Especially once we put the next part of the plan into action. You mean there's more? Of course there is! We're not going to, going to wait for them to arrive and to tell them about the Beehive. I'm looking into advertising in the Crystarium. Once they hear about the high-class entertainment and affordable food and treat we have to offer, they'll be racing to get, get on those airships. Hold on, I've got another idea. If we give them a little souvenir on the way out, they're bound to come back for more. And when they get back to the Crystarium, they can show their friends and tell them about all the fun they had at the Beehive. They'll bring in even more customers. <laughs> exactly, Nick. Look at Kai and his teeny little tail. How cute with that teeny tail. My word, that's brilliant. My sentiments exactly. Hiring him on the spot was something of a gamble, but my faith has been repaid manifold. 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 <laughs> Let's not count our tomorrow just yet. There's still a lot to do before any guests arrive. Until then, we dancers will be working on some brand new routines. We'll show them such a good time, they'll never want to leave. You know, Zia, did you forget the rest of your pants? I think she forgot the rest of her pants. I never imagined the entertainment would be the... the would be the key to turning around our fortunes. But here we are. Noise, Liza! I see great things ahead of you, Kaishir. Though it is often said, the proof is in the pudding. I have every confidence you will see this through to its natural and successful conclusion. <laughs> Ooh, nice watch. I'm gonna steal it from him. Yay! I got cool. I got cookies. I has cookies. Kashir Naka said he's savior of the something. Savior of the beehive. Through your efforts, the beehive has become one of the primary reasons to visit Yulmor. It seems, however, that Kashir has a different sort of favor to ask of you. Blimey! Did you hear what Master Chai has, was saying? I gotta tell you, it feels good not having a man like him singing your praises. By the sounds of it, you're no stranger to that yourself. 
He's got every reason to be optimistic, though. Everything's coming together nicely, and it's all thanks to you. Of course, we're not quite there yet, and we can't afford to get complacent. But if the plan with the souvenirs pays off, everyone in the Crystarium will be wanting to hop on an airship and sample the, del the delights of the beehive. To be honest, I ain't got a clue what would make a decent souvenir. If you bring me whatever you think will work, we'll take it from there. That is a good question, Nick. Oh, and before you go charging off, there's one other thing I wanted to ask. The Queen Bee is always going on about clothes maketh the man, or something. The ones they gave me to wear when I joined make me presentable enough, but I want to look less like hired help and more like I belong here. Don't worry, there's no need to donate half your wardrobe to me or nothing. I heard about those glamour prism thingies. They'll work just, just as well as shelling out in a new outfit. You, you want to look like you belong here? D does he want me to get him a thong? What What are you asking me, Kaishir? I knew I spent most of my life dressed in bits of old sacks, so I wouldn't know where to start. Could you make maybe pick something out for me? I hate to be a pain, but you've obviously got much more, a better dress than some... <laughs> you yeah, that's an assumption! Wow, that's a... Yeah, I'm wearing like a... Like a six-year-old t-shirt I got free from uh, the Cleveland Auto Show, all right? I, I, don't, I don't have no fucking, uh, you know, um, fashion sense. Oh my god, it just doesn't end. If you have to come through for me, as, as always, if all goes well, we'll have more visitors than this place has, has ever seen. I mean, it is the finale for this, but... <laughs> oh, cool. I'm done with that. Sweet. Oh, it's still more to go, but... So... Let's see. I will cast a glamour on you! The thing, I don't have anything really to put him into. That's all that... It only goes into my... Into my immediate stuff that's on me. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to have to find an appropriate outfit for him at some point. How much time we got left on this? We're still 13th in line. Okay, so we still got time. I'm glad you saved me the trouble of tracking you down. There's a bit of news I've been asked to share with you. One of the refitted airships is about to embark on the very first commercial flight to the Crystarium, and you've been invited to join them as a passenger of honor. Considering everything you contributed to the cause, it's only fitting. When you're ready to board, speak with Lerber Lerabird, that gaudily dressed twit over by the Zalen lift. Be warned, though. He usually has an expression so sour he could suck. God damn it. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was going to check something, but oh well. Here we go. What raid shall we do today? Wait, what kind of cookies did I get? Coffee biscuit, it's called. Okay. I have a metal goth fashion sense. I hardly put it to work though. It's mostly jeans and comfy metal hoodies and shirts, cause yay comfy. How, how can you make clothes out of metal? You can't make clothes out of metal. Oh, Lord, I haven't been here in a while. I think this will make the third time ever I've been here. <laughs> yeah, this will be interesting. I wonder how much of this I actually remember. One of these days, I gotta play Nier. I have gotta play Nier Automata. I have it sitting back there. I still haven't played it. Like when it comes to when it comes to fashion, like literally, my my fashion sense is, oh look, this fits me. I only put it on. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, let's see if I remember how to fight you. Alliance B. Oh crap. The dots! The dots! The dots are trying to get me! Save me from the dots! Energy assault? That doesn't sound very friendly. Oh, hi. Oh! Bubble butt! He's got a bubble butt. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta do this now. I forgot about this. Oh, hi. Don't look at me, but... Ah! There we go. I do remember some of these mechanics. Some of these are, are sparking something in my memory. I'm like, oh, I remember doing this. Okay. Like, he's going to summon things that are, like, going to, like, trace the uh, squares here, the four quadrants. Uh-oh. Crap. I got caught in that. Yep, here it is. Yep. Nope. Nope. You will not fool me, you douche. I'm gonna get caught by that again. Until I am. Excuse me. Where's he looking? What's he doing? Ah! Dots! Again with the dipping dots! Mm, now I want dipping dots. Make the dots go away! Blackfoot, make the black, make the dots go away! They scare me. You're the healer, you have the power to do that, right? You can heal my scaredness. <laughs> oh. Heal my scaredy boobs. <laughs> Had to start right there, didn't it? Jesus. Okay. Oh crap! Oh crap! 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 There we go. Go away! Can't attack him with the stupid things dropping balls all around it. Do I need it? It's 460. No, I don't want it. I could get it for gla glamour purposes, but I wouldn't wear it. Could be worse than it could be crates and barrels. <laughs> oh, who left the party? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, someone left our party. Oh, someone was getting some, uh, some bad laggages. Okay. 
I'm not a leader, am I? No, good. I don't have to look for a new person. Kill all these little things, cause that's funny. Beep. Oh shit. Stop shooting the the, 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 the dipping dots. They're not the straw you know the uh the uh what was it? The Oh, what's the, what's the flavor I like so much? What's it called? Uh, fuck! Not strawberry shortcake, uh... Banana... Split! Yeah, banana split! It's not banana split flavored... Um... Uh... Dippin' Dots, so therefore, it's not the best! Doors open. Boing. Where? Okay. Is this is the one they split us up. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. I remember this boss. I remember this boss. Do I remember all the mechanics? We'll see. But I remember this boss. Hello? Shut up, 2P. I know your secret. The giant ceiling penis. Hello, giant ceiling penis. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, sees it. Back, we get over here, quick, quick, quick. Oh, too late. It happens. On the wall. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Um. Thing. Don't, don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Oh, God. It's going to do that, is it? Okay. Oh. Jesus. Okay, it's done. All right, good. I, don't, I honestly didn't recognize the uh, the skill I was going to use, but... Oh, crap. Crap! There we go. I got, I got fixed up. I'm a doofus. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Oh, 
Ow. Thank you, Blackfoot. I know there's another healer, but if I ever get healed, I'm just going to say it's always Blackfoot who did it. Because he's best healer. Now it's going behind us. Oh, spinning around again. So if this is Hobbs, where's Calvin? Oops. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I got a little confused by that one. I thought it was going to do more than that. I was kind of expecting like a... He's going to try and shove us into a thing or something. Laser resistance test. That sounds painful. Ow, my face. Stop with the face lasers. Oh. Oh, Jesus. See, that was, that was, what, was more of what I was expecting. <laughs> doing now now what are you doing oh the box again all right crap 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 damn it i still got hit by it again i thought i got out of the way on that one looks like it does a last little twist at the end where doors are gonna fall Access points accessed. Oh, tanky boy. Tanky boy. That's your ring. Get away from that. There we go. I saved everybody. I sacrificed myself for the good for the good of the team. Stop it! Oh. Did it, did we did we win? Damn it. Oh. Come on, come on, just go down, just go down. You know you wanna, you know you just wanna be dead. You, you know you don't wanna be here anymore, then I want you to be here. So just, just let it go, just let it go. 
Let us do what we do best. Just let it go. Like that, see? See, how hard was that? I was gonna make a frozen joke, but no. No, go ahead, go ahead. I give you permission, please. Brother, you're a bit late. Frozen was seven years ago. So what? Seven years ago or twenty years ago? If you if you want to make a, uh, a frozen joke, then go ahead. I won't judge you too much. Oh. Come on, we got this. Is this the one we got that side? So sure this okay, no, it's that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's he doing? Ah, crap! We got this. We got this. Nothing gonna stop us. Especially not some big dumb first you know, beginning of the game first boss from near Automatata. Oops, I was not forward enough. Ah, crap! Crap, 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 crap! Side. There we go. Now charging, please wait. It's our DPS check. Come on, come on, die. It's already up to 33%, 35. Oh, wow, it's charge as fast. The new fast charge. Fast charge feature, though. <laughs> Mark's activation again! Okay, which one is he doing? Is he doing the front one or the back one? 
Oops, I did, uh, I did it down. Oh, hello, arms on the side. I forgot about you. Don't bombard my area. I like my area unbombarded, thank you. Rick. Go bombard my area with his bombardments. You know what I can go for? I can go for a pizza right now. I know, like, because after, after this, after I'm done here, it's bedtime for me. But I wanted, I want to just eat a pizza. And I'm not talking a slice. I want to eat a pizza. A pepperoni pizza. Because I don't care what Kevin McAllister says. A cheese pizza is not a pizza. Oh, crap, 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 crap. My irritable bowel syndrome and my digestion are stopping me. If I did that, I would be in the bathroom for about a year. And I would get no sleep, and I would go to work on no sleep, and that would be bad. <laughs> oh, crap. We're attacking the arms now. Okay. Got him! Incendiary bombing! Not paying attention. That was my fault. That was totally my fault. Damn it. You're almost dead, pal. There we go. Nah. Well, screw it. I'll throw, I'll throw my hat in the ring. See what happens. Well, this one for your parents. For instance, I love barbecue pizzas, but I cannot eat barbecue pizza due to me mostly having a paprika allergy. Oh, get an insane head and stomach. Ugh. Sorry to hear that. Nine S operated walking fortress. All right, Nine S, we're gonna beat your ass. Not the personal, just games forcing me to do it. Wait, how can you do that if you're allergic to paprika? Crap, what's he doing? Well, that's what he's doing. Get off of me, you idiot!
Ah! Oh, fuck me. That was owie. Oh, arms on the side. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, 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 crap. We got this, though. We got it. Damn it, I forgot to turn on my arms right hand Son of a bitch. Wasn't this the one where he summons two tanks in the middle of this? Oh, there he is. This one first. Now where's it gonna come from? Oh, there he is. You can't hit me. Because you have such delay on your missiles. Hi. Oh, I was just inside. Oh, crap. We got this. We got it. We got it. He's done, done half. We got this. Crap, I remember like one of them gets bloated up and then you have to hide behind the other one. I can't remember what's, what marks the one that you're supposed to hide behind. That one's... Is it just the last one that blows up? Is it... Yep, this is what he doesn't... He doesn't aim for. Got it. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, I got that uh, little armor piece. It's cool. Boop. Ow. Booby. Now what are you doing? Try dodging this. I'm trying. I'm dodging every which way. Don't go hacking things. That's not very nice. Oh. We help. Oh, okay, we're good. Um, you think you got enough missiles there, pal? <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't as many as a Macross episode, so, you know, I guess maybe he did need, need more missiles. Uh, I'm going to miss that in Dra Monster Hunter Rise. I'm so going to miss... Where's my Dragonator? As well as... Gran I I'm going to miss Granny Meow Meow. Oh, I'm going to miss Granny Meow Meow. And, um... And you know, Buff Chef Cat. Buff Chef Cat was also awesome. 
I love buff Chef, chef Cat. I'm gonna miss Wolf Mark Dragonator. Oh, uh. Okay. Nope. 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 I hope she does too. She was adorable. She was so sweet. She just wanted to feed you up. She just wanted to feed you. So you were always you you always weren't eating enough. You just were always not eating enough. Not there. Okay. Ooh. Gotta hang out over here. Creating meow, creating meow meow is, is my best addition to Monster Hunter World. Just straight up. Lots of loot. Let's see if I get lucky this time. Nope, did not get lucky this time. <laughs> pass, pass, pass. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Eh, why the hell not? Come on, nobody else. Uh, bid on pod 054. Please. <laughs> got bad rolls all over the board on this one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Damn it. Oh well. The thing I got a good roll on was the thing I didn't really give a damn about. <laughs> it's a stupid pants. Yay, I got pants. <laughs> Yeah, I got pants. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Is what it is. <laughs> that still is one of the most chaotic uh alliance alliance runs. I'll tell you that, alliance raids. Okay. I'm going to finish off the, this night by uh, finish off this quest line here for Kaishir, and then we'll call it a night. Well, maybe for the smaller of us who are a little under-endowed, but you know, for the larger or well-endowed of us, it could be a bit of a pain. <laughs> you to board the airship, are you? <laughs> are you one of those a sweat, sweat stained soldiers or a shipbuilder with nothing better to do than spend all your day hammering nails so fervently as to give the impression that they have personally wronged you. Hmm? Which is it? Why it was decided wait, why it was decided that all that you all be given lifetime passes for whatever shoddy work was performed is beyond me. Not that it's any concern of mine, of course. Riffraff is riffraff. <sighs> I am duty bound to inform that you you, that all passengers are to be guided from here to the utmost level of Yulmor, where the airship landing is situated. Only those granted permission to board may pass beyond this point. Alas, the powers that be have neglected to provide me with a proper reception area, and I am relegated to standing upright for bells on end like some wretched footman. <sighs> if you are quite done boring me, your airship awaits, sir. I would like to slap him, yes. I, I'm with you on that one. Here to ride the airship to the Crystarium, are you? 
The quicker you are out of my sight, the better. So I will make this ne the necessary arrangements. Wait. Where's my mission? Do I... Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I guess I'll just take this, I guess? No tip for him. Wait. You can have a tip of my stabity stick. Damn straight! I'll gladly slap thee with mine gloves, good sir. Herbert. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him. Alright. So we unlocked it. Wait, so that's it? It's just we unlocked an airship travel point? That's all? So the quest line's done? So how do we get back then? Is there a way to get back by an airship or I'm mildly confused. I guess, I guess that was it. That was one hell of an unceremonious way to end that quest line, but okay. Just end the quest line by giving us like the most irritating guy ever to exist in this game, or one of. Hmm. All right, whatever. Let's see, so I got myself some more. Awesome little things that I can use to hopefully buy more things. Some scripts. I got a ship for 80 gear 3. Can I afford? I got 877. Yeah, I can afford. Whew. Well, I have one piece. Yeah, let's go with the boots. Ah, so close. Ah, so close. Oh, well. Boots it is. All I'm missing is the gloves for the outfit. Good. Hold on. How many did I need? Which one of these am I still missing? I'm still missing Geolog. I think we could the only one I'm missing is Geological. I need 40 of them, which I think cost 4,000 in total, which I don't think I have that many. Yeah, I don't have that many. I have 11.22. So I got, I got time before I get that. All right. Hmm. Oh, you already have, okay. You already have, there you go. All right, I got all those. Okie dokie. Cool. Oh, actually what I gotta do, mark that off. There we go. A pretzel sticker, yay. How am I doing on this? 658 and 378. I don't think I can afford anything with 378. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm still going for the pants. <laughs> Speaking of pants, yeah. I think the next bit I need is pants, which is like another 800 and something. And I only have 378. So... Right? Am I right on that? Yeah, 825. All right. Pants. 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 <laughs> Lots of the pants. Alright, so it looks like that's, uh... That is what they call that, I suppose. Unless they got something going on in the gold saucer real quick. Oh, I still have to equip the boots on my other gatherers. We can pants if we want to. We can leave your pants behind. Because if, if you don't have pants and they don't have... And they have... Wait. Because if we have pants and they don't have pants, well, they're no friends of mine. Oh, there's something going on. Good. What is it? Oh, it's leave of faith, isn't it? 
Oh, it's Air Force One. Oh, good. Oh, it's eight seconds. No! I'm never going to make it! <laughs> oh, that would have been an easy 4,000. Damn it. Now close. Damn it. Wait, was there something on the event square? No, it wasn't. Okay. So yeah, I'm done here. I, well, unless I'm already here, might as well. There we go. So did you have fun, Blackfoot, in that uh, lion's raid? I saw you went down a couple of times. You, uh... You were struggling a little bit, but we got through. Hopefully, hopefully it didn't frustrate you too much. Oh, cool! Then you, sir, are welcome. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go... I know where I need to go. I know where I need to go. Almost done with near Eden. Just started to near. Nice. Eden is fun. Eden is fun. Even if it places too much emphasis on my least favorite Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VIII. But that's fine. Eden's, Eden was a cool summon. And the Final Fantasy VIII bought, like, music is actually the only good thing about Final Fantasy VIII, really, is the music. Music, Moombas, and Gunblades. That's the only good thing that came out of 8. Because that story... Pfft. People want to talk about 7's story being stupid. <laughs> 8's, ugh. Among other things. Like salaries, and enemies leveling up with you, and the draw system. Ugh. No, no, no. Moombas. M-O-O-M-B-A-S. Change an R to an M. They are cute little lion people. They only showed up in eight. And for some reason, they just like got rid of them after, after Final Fantasy VIII. They've never returned. It, it, it's like, aww. Is that how I suppose Moombas? Like, like, huh. Yeah, M-O-O-M-B-A. The cute little lion people. I don't know. I don't know why they never came back. You should look them up. Like, Google them real quick. Just look, look them up. They're cute. They're cute as hell. Wait, what am I doing? That's not where end of end of stream goes. End of stream goes over here. There we go. Ugh. <laughs> that definitely ain't the case because... They, you know, they later would invent things like the Vera, you know, and uh, other furry, furry type species. All right. Um, well, like I said, we we need to get to getting. It's that time of night where I need to say good night to you all. Uh, but before we talk about what's coming up next, we're going to go ahead and talk about what we do always talk about at the end of an episode. Plug time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages and everything in between, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, then please consider stopping over at my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Featherhoof underscore gaming. Where for just a couple bucks a month, not only can you help support the channel, help it grow, help it get better equipment for the studio and whatnot, but you get something back in return. From exclusive access to a Discord chat, early access to videos, exclusive patron-only unedited versions of videos, uh, being a voice on Multiplayer Saturdays, which is tomorrow. Um, you know, stuff like that. Give it a look. But if uh, nothing entices you, you could, of course, instead subscribe to this channel right here on Twitch, which instead will give you the ability to kill ads, because let's face it, who doesn't love killing ads? And it gives, ah, no bopping. And it gives you access to the emoticons that were sp being spanned by Ellie before she had to leave, and Liza and Blackfoot. Um, also remember, if you're an Amazon Prime or Prime, subscribe, a Prime Gaming subscriber, you can subscribe to one channel every 30 days for free, so why not make this one? Cost you nothing extra, kicks a little bit back to the channel, and you still get access to the emoticons, so win-win. <laughs> but you, if you have absolutely no money to spend, I understand. Money can be tight, I get that. But you can still support the channel for free. Absolutely nothing. First off, by sharing it. 
letting people know the channel is here, what we do, you know, whether you enjoy it or not. Yada. Ah, no pooping. You know, help grow the community because the bigger the community, the more we can do with more people. And feedback, feedback and con constructive criticism helps out immensely. Keeps the channel growing, keeps it moving forward. More importantly, keeps it from moving backwards. Ah, ah no pooping. And you can do so when this episode shows up on YouTube later, where in the comment section below. Can let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, things you'd like to see more of, less of, or just other games you'd like to see played on the channel. And that is my shtick. That is my spiel. Uh, we are out of here for today. We will be back tomorrow for the end of our streaming week with Multiplayer Saturday, where we will once again be diving back into the Monster Hunter Rise demo because I cannot get enough of it. Uh, once again, if you, uh, you've been playing it since it came out and you're like, but I only have like three more quests uh, uh, before the game locks me out. Delete your save file. Delete it. And then play the game again. And you, whoop, right back up to 30. <laughs> uh, trust me, I've done it multiple times now. Trust me, it works. The only thing you need to do is just reset your options. You know, like uh, certain optional things. But it works, and it's awesome. Ah, uh, so that's my yeah. That's that's everything for today. Um, it's always it's always a blast to get to hang out with y'all. Thank you so much for showing up. Uh, y'all take care. Uh, have yourself a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or sleep, whichever one you're heading towards. And I will see you all next time.